Hello and welcome to coverage of the Magic Online Community Cup. I'm Marshall Seckliff in the booth with Brian David Marshall, and we have hit the dessert portion of our Iron Root Chef Challenge BDM. This is the uh, the third one. Talk to us about what the players <coughs> are going to be playing. So the players had to build a modern deck, but they had to build a modern deck around a card, an ingredient of their choosing. The deck has to not really show us cards that we've seen in other modern decks. You can't really go to pantry staples like Tarmogoyf, Vendillion Click, or anything like that. You really need to they go. They don't want to see those cards. No, I, think they they would, I think the judges may be offended by those cards. Correct. Uh, so uh, the community team built their deck around the ingredient Hungry Spriggan. Yeah, so this was uh, Maria Bartholdi's creation. She was the head chef for this. You see that Kenji Agashir is the one who's actually going to be uh, piloting it here. But Maria's the one that uh, that did it. And uh, the thing is great look look at some of the cards you'll see here you, you might be wondering well oh, dark steel play that card's not very good yeah it's not but it's, it's but it's plating. a plate it's all about plating it's a plate you need a plate if you're gonna eat right unholy hunger something i'm feeling right now <laughs> yeah same uh hungry spriggan now so so this might be actually a very well, difficult BDM, deck to commentate on at this point it might be <laughs> uh so to be clear here bdm they each had to choose a card around which yes. to build Right now, w we should say what the card is for each. So it's hungry spring. Hungry spring in there. Yeah. For the wizards team, they chose glistening oil. Glistening oil. Now, what do you think was the, the the thinking behind that card? They said that they really wanted to tell the story of Phyrexia. Okay. Of new Phyrexia. Okay. And that they felt that they could tell that story very well. Now this was Sam Glist Stoddard. This was Sam the Stoddard. Deck. Yeah. Now on the bottom though it was Hungry Spriggan, and then that's just it's a one one for two man or for three mana for two and a green, and it's got trample when it attacks it gets plus three plus three until end of turn, and uh, what the community team decided to do <laughs> was to tell this not to tell a story of something magic related but to tell the story of the Iron Root Chef challenge of food of of plating and, and that kind of mm -hmm. thing it's dinner, I think it was a, it's a, a little less ambitious a very, perhaps. Uh, intelligent metagame decision by the by the community team. it resonates doesn't yeah, it Yeah, it really does you know that's the thing that i think that uh it's easy to overlook is how much things really resonate when you see them and whether you think it's good or not it's just does it hit the right nerves for the judges and uh, i think that we're going to see when the judging comes around i think the uh, community team's going to have a leg up <laughs> here comes hungry spriggan doesn't look very good <laughs> against infect creatures unfortunately no it, it does not Oh look at look at the look at that card on the left there, Grim fresh, Affliction. Fresh meat. Oh, down there on the bottom. Oh, <laughs> fresh meat. That's great. Urge to feed. Yeah, this is just too good. Eater of days. Now I, the players, I think, weren't allowed to use the Battle for Zendikar cards, else uh, Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, yeah. would certainly be in the deck. So now we see the Hungry Spriggan getting Grim Affliction. And that's, of course, going to proliferate an extra counter plus two more incoming. Kenji Ikashira has four poison counters already. <laughs> he looks to the side of one of his teammates in a little smirk, and uh, yeah, buddy, you're up against it here. Butcher's Cleaver. Well, you got to cut up the uh, fresh meat there. But uh, he doesn't have any creatures that he can actually cast. Right? I mean, he can cast Eater of Days, but... He can, he can cast Fresh Meat as well. But isn't that only for the creatures that died this turn? Oh, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he can't do that. So so now again, he's got an Eater of Days, but he has to very, skip very two poorly. turns here. Is that the... That is correct. But he, but for his trouble, he gets a 9-8 Flying Trampler. And, and I would like to point out, by the way, that mm -hmm. when you're preparing a meal... Ooh, Lightsteel Claw. It's really all about <laughs> your guests... Mm. So Eater of Days is a very, very nice card. You know, it's I like oh, it's, it. it's you're just you're you're giving away your turns. So uh, you know what I mean? It's it's like there's a there's a yeah, game. Yeah, it's, it's kind see. of like it. It kind of is nice dinner etiquette. Because because uh, you're the one who's making the dinner. And yeah, you're taking you're up taking all that time, time, but it's for your friends. Yeah, it's for your yeah. family. Here, Aaron. I love that. Loud about cards in people's hands. <laughs> now the question is, can Aaron get rid of this Eater of Days? Well, Mycosynth Wellspring's not the card that he wants to do to do that. Also interesting, you know, again, the, the namesake or the, the prime ingredient for the deck, Glistening Oil, doesn't really work well with Eater of Days because it gives it infect. <laughs> Just whack you twice and you're dead. 
Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not sure how favorably the Venomai's not the only one that can take extra turns, you know? Colossus. I have a question. Yeah. Why is corrupt in this deck? Because they're corrupt. The Phyrexians are corrupt. Because they are corrupting things? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because sure does not go into the theme <laughs> of what the deck's trying to do in game very well. No. So here's a Plague Mirror. So right now, remember, Aaron's picking up two additional turns <laughs> off of the Eater a Day. So he's kind of trying to develop out his board and see what he can get from it. You know, maybe he can just go wide enough. Community came back within 12 yeah, points, by the way, with that little win there no, no last round. I see. It's going to cycle and Icker Slick. Yeah, a couple of them it looks like, and there's a wellspring. So he's just kind of working through his deck here. But this is not the turn that the turns that he really wanted to see after getting the eater of days down. And Kenji is starting that smile is starting to get bigger <laughs> and bigger. He's like, "This attack. isn't bad." <laughs> oh yeah, Rexia's core. Oh, I see the value there. Oh, there's value all over this. Oh my. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, liquid metal coating. Flying oh, I remember that card. Well, it turns a creature and it turns something into a an permanent, artifact, right? Permanent into an artifact, yeah. God, are we battling on uh, Phyrexia? Is that is there something uh, inherently Phyrexian about that happening yes. as well? Yeah, or? yeah. Okay. I thought that they poisoned everything. Like they do, but there's also there's also like a, um, you know, they're turning them into what, mechanical yeah. things or something yeah. more. I don't know. I, I kind of I'm struggling to see that one. All right, well. Oh, what? Took that to block. In comes Kenji did not block. He's going to go up to six poison here. Is he really? I, I right. think you just. <coughs> Unless I'm missing there. something on board here. Is it the Phyrexia's core? Oh, maybe oh. he misclicked. Okay. <laughs> Graham just pointed out to me that the glistening oil deck, it's all foil. Look, those are all premium <laughs> cards. It's maximum glistening. <laughs> How great is that? That's awesome. All right, so here is the dark steel plate. This doesn't look amazing here in the face of infect okay. creatures, but, yeah, that looked like a misclick from, uh, the plate, from Kenji, yeah. and that could be very costly as he's now up to six that poison. Let's <laughs> really take... I think I'll pass. No. Could he have attacked there and just been willing to go to nine poison? But I guess he just can't risk a proliferate trigger. I mean, he needs three turns to kill Aaron. Glissa the traitor. There's a Vornclex, and that is not coming down for a while. And uh, Kenji can't cast his Urge to feed because he's off of he's double black. He doesn't have a second black, yeah. yeah. Glissa the Traitor. What's, what's old Glissa been up to? I haven't seen her in a while. So they're kind of working with that, that old sub theme with the sacrificing artifacts, getting them back, drawing extra cards from them, and doing that whole thing. But it does look like for now, there's a sprout for Kenji, which, by the way, Nice. That's nice. part of the appetizer. Yeah, that part, of, part, of, part of building that meal. Mm -hmm. Put little microgreens on top to just garnish. Mm -hmm. He's going <laughs> to cast a butcher's <laughs> cleaver. Definitely not what Kenji has in mind here, though. If he can maneuver himself into a position where he can get that thing equipped, it does make it a two-turn clock. Bang, bang, you're dead. I mean, it does, it's just that he's as indestructible, it does get around that first strike death touch Ooh, nonsense. Look at this. He's attacking now because of the two-turn clock nature of it. Look at this. Now he's going to gain another life here from the Mycosynth Wellspring, though. Does that put it out of range for Kenji? He's attacking for nine here. Yeah, that actually does, doesn't it? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not going to work out the way Kenji hoped, because now he's going to hit for 9, dropping him down to 13, and even with an equip of the Butcher's Cleaver, he's only attacking for 12. I think Kenji was hoping to be able to kill him in two turns. Tack him here. 
put him to to 12, take the three, hope he doesn't have anything, equip and attack and win, and that right. doesn't work because of the Phyrexia's core. And with Phyrexia's core, he can actually he actually gets to gain two life over the yeah. over, that, over that stretch of turns. Yeah, now he does have the sprout that he can use to to block here and and probably trade off for the Sprout's nice here. For the rats. So, you know, it's not his game plan isn't dead in the water. But I think he's going to need a little bit more help here. I think both players have successfully navigated the. We haven't seen this back in modern before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Coming soon to a PPTQ near you. Probably not. No? No. Not going to sprout it up? No. Nope. <laughs> so Kenji goes up to seven. Poison counter. Gets a trigger from Glissa. Can't quite kill uh, Aaron next turn. Gets to return an artifact. Yeah, Pretty sweet. Returns wellspring. a wellspring. Yeah, yeah. He's going to draw another card off of that. Sack it to the Phyrexia's core. He needs to find oh. some action here, though. It's kind of gross. Like he actually. needs to put another threatening poison creature well, on the There's a glistening oil. There that is the, the actually, titular card. No, that yeah, that does definitely doesn't do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it gives infect. Yeah, but he can give his Glissa infect with that and kill Kenji next turn. Like if Kenji doesn't have anything. Right. He can put it on his own Glissa. It gives it uh, gives it infect and an, and an attack and kill Kenji. That's if Kenji goes for like equip, attack, or even just attack. Thinking, I can't play around anything anymore. Right. Something like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, well he's found a creature here, though. It's a hungry Spriggan. Yeah. And that does give him the ability to block. That's a big draw for Kenji. Hungry, man. He needed to find either a black mana source or a creature there so that he could uh, chump block Glissa. Uh, but he didn't, he didn't even know that, <laughs> necessarily. But yeah, Kenji actually looks to be in a good position now. Yeah, the Dark Seal play doesn't do much here, but this is uh this is actually looking good for Kenji, isn't it? Except that if he Oh, it's at the beginning of your upkeep you put the counter on, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can turn one of your creatures into a poison creature just however you feel. And it and he bricked. That's an answer. Forsyth bricked. Now he can play this swamp and gain five. Does that do anything? No, the cleaver actually threatens to kill him anyway. Oh, you're saying gain, just gain life with the corrupt? Yeah, just gain life with the corrupt, and he would gain five there, right? And that would put him to ten. But the butcher's cleaver that's just kind of been hanging out could could go on the eater of days and kill Aaron. I think Kenji has this. He's going to put the glisten <laughs> on the glisten. Yeah, which was kind of the plan. And again, if Kenji hadn't have top decked the Hungry Spriggan, this would have worked. But now he has to block with the Spriggan. Yeah, but he's just he's just dead on the crackback. Yeah. All right, he's going to. Kenji goes all in with Eater of Days, dodges any type of disaster on the extra turns, and I think he's going to be able to just scrape out a win here. <laughs> What artifact will Aaron get back? More Iker Wellspring, please. The Wellspring? Okay, so he gets a draw step here as well. <laughs> or a draw. Let's see what he can do with it. Keep digging. He needs to find something. Oh! Oh, it has trample, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> oh, he almost found it! <laughs> the Ink Moth could have chump blocked, but it has flample, so he can't. This is ridiculous. Look at, look at Kenji, sh Kenji shake his head. He knows he got away with one here. <laughs> the corrupt is going to be the play here. Nope. No, he doesn't, gonna, have, oh, a, he doesn't have enough mana. Yeah, he's going to draw. He only has five. Gets a Viridian Emissary, but... 
No, I will die. That should be the game. Eater of Days is gonna win. Yes. You're gonna give you gonna give the Infect deck two extra turns. Yep. You are correct, sir. Oh, he actually did have enough mana. You were right. The Plague Mirror could have tapped for mana. Yeah, and I think. But corrupt didn't get the job done. Is the problem. Kenji's job is simple. Yeah, and he's like, I'm going to put a Hungry Spurgeon into play when I attack you to death. Yeah, just to show you that it's all about the food. Oh, Boom, wow. and Kenji steals yeah, one from <laughs> Forsyth. Nom Nom's a game away from Aaron. Wow. Wow. That, yeah, that's crazy. He gave his opponent two extra turns. Yep, just spotted him two turns. So no sideboard, by the way for the Wizards team here on the Glistening Oil deck. This what? is their deck. They have no sideboard. They've submitted Why? it as is. They're like, this, these are our, this is our dish. There's no waffling. There's no waffles. This is it. The, so this is what we're bringing to the table. The hun Hungry Spriggan deck does have a sideboard. Yeah. Which perhaps indicates some sort of lack of confidence in your food. Oh. Interesting. Devouring Swarm, Gluttonous Slime, Gobbling Ooze. They got all the kind of food stuff in there. Master of the Feast. Yeah. That should be in the main deck, right? Yeah, I, th I, I believe that should actually be in the main deck. Yeah, Pelucranos World I Eater. almost think that would have been a better card to build the deck around than Hungry Spriggan. Mm. It's our Master of the Feast deck. Kenji, Kenji's... Oh, it's also... He's saying it's it, Tayback saying it's seventy. What are you seeing over there, Matt? Uh, I'm checking out the uh, community team. Looks like Aaron has submitted a seventy-five card deck. Oh, he so does have a sideboard. He doesn't have a sideboard to bring in, but he can lose fifteen, up to fifteen cards here for game two. Oh, he submitted a seventy-five card yeah, main he, deck. Yeah, he had a seventy-five card main deck for game one, so he can now take out cards. He doesn't bring a sideboard to to swap in cards. No, right. but uh, Watson can go a little trimmer here for games two and potentially three. So they wanted to use all of the main deck slots for their Phyrexian deck here. All right, we're underway here in game two. So many plants. <laughs> Aaron's That's salad, by the way. That's a leafy green to start out our meal. Is he going to glistening oil the plant? I guess you just do. He could play the wellspring yeah. <laughs> instead, but <laughs> taste it. Look at look at Forsyth. He's so excited. Wow. So what happens is is that on Kenji's upkeep. Is it on Kenji's upkeep or at the beginning of your upkeep? Of your upkeep. Of Aaron. So the person too, who controls the enchantment, which is Aaron, <laughs> yeah, the glistening oil God. is going to put a counter on the plant, and then it's <laughs> when it goes to the salad. graveyard, it's going to go back to, to Aaron's hand. <laughs> and Kenji <laughs> says, you know what, buddy? Send, take a, it. send a message. You take zero. Always attack. Fact. Oh, yeah. Terrible for me. <laughs> Forsyth is just mowing down plant tokens here. Uh. Plays another one. Even though he could play an Icker Wellspring, a perfectly reasonable play for the turn, he decides oh. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that plant token go. right now. And now another target. Oh, boy. But you know what? What? You like that salad? We've got a lot of salad for you. Okay. Because we've got Sprout Swarm on Oh, no. I don't think that... Uh, <laughs> Glistening oil can keep up with a sprout swarm. It cannot swarm. keep up with a sprout swarm. Kenji's kind of doing some math here. You don't attack here, right? You just play the land and you start to swarm. Yeah, oh, I guess he's, he's <laughs> he wants to get his Spriggan into play. Huh. He could have bought it back, though, right? Yeah. It's got Convoke and Buyback. It's five mana to make a sprout right and uh, <laughs> buy it back. And, and with Convoke, he actually did have just enough. Would have had to do it on Aaron's upkeep. A little awkward, but. So Aaron plays an Icker Wellspring. So, so what is his plan here? Who, Aaron's? No, Agashira's. I, <laughs> I don't know. He just didn't do, do anything. 
Oh, he's going to savage hunger <coughs> here? This doesn't work forever. I'm That's an enchantment, right? Land is very bad. Does it have cycling? He just did nothing. He didn't play the Spriggan either. Yeah. And he doesn't want to get that thing infected. Oh, I guess he's decided he's going to cast it, and he's going to try to... He didn't do no. that either. Oh, you got me. There it is. There it is. And he's on the do-nothing plan. He should play this un... Okay, he's just going to play the uh, Spriggan. So he knows he, he so he knows that the glistening oil is going to go on his Spriggan. Yeah. He's going to then have a turn to enchant it with Savage Hunger. Okay. Which does what again? If, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I assume it lets it live through a turn of glistening oil. Oh yeah. <laughs> it gets plus one plus zero oh and has trample. So nope. No, doesn't it do doesn't that. actually do that. So he only went down to like sixty-five. Uh, Kenji just doesn't seem interested in getting the Sprout Swarm going. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus zero, or trample. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like your salad dressing. <laughs> All right, let me try one more time. <laughs> somebody in chat just said, somebody tell Aaron Forsyth his salad dressing sucks. <laughs> 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 All that glistening oil just being drizzled on the sprouts <laughs> from, <laughs> from Kenji. So he brought the oil, but the chat's bringing the vinegar here? <laughs> yeah, and they're not mixed together at the moment. All right, so he's just decided that he is going to spend his Savage Hunger. He's going to get the bonus from oh, totally the Spriggan when it attacks. He's just going to... He's just going to one-time him. a lot of poison. That is a lot of poison. He's like, I'm going to get you to seven poison. He's like, I'm going to try to kill you with your own poison counters. But I'm going to gain all your health. That's his goal. I could have sworn Savage Hunger gave plus three. Plus I mean, zero. he's just going to lose the Savage really Hunger now. <laughs> Your, uh, yeah. What is going on? Your Graham, favorite. can you find out if they're doing some stipulation thing? Because this is just not adding up for my... <laughs> I wonder if they gave themselves some rules or something. Because why would Kenji do that? He just threw away Savage Hunger for, like, a damage. So what is, what is that? Okay. Tell Jalad Outriders? I like that. <laughs> Looks like it. <coughs> Tell Jalad Outrider. Protection from Artifacts 3-1. Yeah, they, there it is. Okay. In play. So another hungry Spriggan. To be glistened. Well, I mean, chittering rats. Chittering rats. That's interesting. Why is that in the deck? I'm not sure why it's in the deck, but I, I love if that. If you were in the I judge seat, would you be like, uh, or would you be like, uh? I'd be like, uh. Okay. Yeah, but I love the card. But you like the card, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here comes a Nexus. <laughs> little liquid. Here's here's a little liquid metal coating action for you. If, this, if he blocks, if he, turns blocks, it he turns artifact. it into an artifact. Yeah, that's gross. He's got a grim reflection though here. <coughs> so he's on the, uh, the 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 two plans here. He's doing a little damage and he's doing a little poison. It doesn't sound like there's any kind of stipulation in play here. It sounds like Kenji has just decided Nothing it would be cool to kill Aaron with his own <sighs> glistening oil. Like I'm gonna give, I'm gonna infect you to death with your own glistening oil. You brought that is ambitious. You brought this dressing to my dinner. It was terrible, oh, and I'm gonna make you eat it. <laughs> Aaron loves the chittering rats oh here. I'll get to get you guys a look at chittering so rats. Good. It looks so unassuming and <sighs> gross. Kenji apparently trying to poison out Aaron. But Aaron's done the liquid metal coating protection from artifacts. I'm ready for you to this time. <laughs> Fruit of the first tree. <laughs> Fruit of the first tree on the chittering rats. It's got the most toughness. Yeah. And he also, if he put it on the either of the Telgelod creatures, he could make the font an artifact and have it fall off of them. Even if for some reason sure. you wanted to put it there. 
He could make the what? The fruit of the first tree? Fruit of the first tree, yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. Sorry. Well, Forsyth has certainly changed gears here as uh, now he has Kenji down to seven life points. He's got original Glissa as well. In hand, anyway. Now he's going to cast Sprout Swarm with no buyback. Really? Yeah, and it's just going to... I mean, he's dead. Like, he's just going to chump block. So now, now, by the way, the combo is online for... Dude, he's just... Darren's winning this game. I know, There's but no he's combo got, needed. But he could, be gl he could be doing Glissa, Sunseeker, Liquid Metal Coating. Oh, that's sweet. Wow, that's really sweet. <laughs> Taps to destroy an artifact. <laughs> he, could destroy, he could destroy lands with that. Now, the only problem is that, is, is that Kenji's going to be dead before he gets his combo up. He's got him down to two, and Kenji's basically drawing dead here, right? Yeah. And with the forest, he certainly is. All right, so Forsyth wins that game. I, I have no idea. what Like, Kenji did not seem to be playing that in a conventional fashion. I, I think he, he decided, he, I'm up a game. I want to make you taste the glistening oil. And he made him taste, like, three-quarters of a glass of it. <laughs> that's, that's more than Turns I Turns out that just makes you kind of queasy. Yeah, and, and angry. <laughs> and a little grumpy. <laughs> So what I've actually done is I'm, I'm going to send Graham out there to ask Kenji, what happened? What, whoa, did you, whoa, whoa, what were you doing? What were you doing that game? Let me see. Kenji's an awesome Magic player, and he was clearly had some type of agenda there, and i got to know what it was. Let's see, Aaron just hit submit as soon as they were done. Right, Kenji man. did a little tinkering around with the deck lists. See the players. Let's take a look at these opening. Oh, that's just two lands, but one of them is a Karoo for Kenji. It's not a Karoo. That's a Golgari Rot Farm. BDM. Yeah. Oh, no. You can't call them Karoos. I can't? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a Karoo. Yeah. Okay, good. It's not like Big K Karoo. <laughs> no. Capital K. There's a pl plague mirror for Aaron Forsyth. That's nice. That can, you know, get some somewhat explosive turn three here for him. Is that card called He Who Hungers? Oh, yes. <laughs> what does that do? That would also have been a fine card to have be your secret ingredient. Yeah. I kind of like Master of Feast that you, you mentioned before. Maybe that should have been the one. I mean, whatever. Hungry, Hungry Spriggan's cool, too. He Who Hungers is five mana for a 3-2 flyer. It has legendary spirit. It has one mana, sacrifice the spirit. Target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you choose a card from it. It also has Soul Shift 4. By the way, check this out. <laughs> Demonic Appetite has, has been played. Whoa. Yep. Crunch for five. And it looks like Forsyth's just going to have to taste it here. But Demonic Appetite is very all-in. You have to sacrifice a creature on your upkeep. Now, he's got a couple of expendable creatures here with the plant token. But the problem is, of course, at some point, Forsyth can just start chump blocking. Yeah, I don't know. This, this seems like it favors Aaron pretty. I agree. This is a very all-in He's got play. a glistening oil. He's got an Icker Slick in hand. Mm -hmm. He's got Glissa, the traitor, which can first first strike death touch is kind of a problem. That's a major issue for... Although the dark steel plating is... The dark steel plate is online. Yeah, he. what does he need? Another mana to be able to actually make it go? Yeah, at least. So sacrifice well, something. Well, th that made that it decision is. easy. Forsyth put a... A counter, basically forcing him to sacrifice his 1-1 rather than his plant token there. But it's all kind of the same as it... The second he who hungers. <laughs> you said that was a legend yeah. as well? Okay, yeah, so it's that's... It's also five. All right. So that's not going to happen. And I wouldn't be shocked to see a chump block here. 
I mean, Aaron does have some life total to play with. He could go to eight, and he does. I have a plate to eat so on. Here comes Dark Steel Plate. But I th is that Ickerslick going to take care of the uh, the plant token here and it is. leave Kenji creatureless? It is. Oh no. Like GG ish. Feels GG. Now I remember, uh, Mike Turian won the appetizer round, but the main course, the entree, went uh, went the other direction to to Yo Larson for the community team. And this is the third and final round of our Iron Root Chef. This but is the but we're only But we're only talking about allocating nine total match points across these three matches. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, three by in units of three for each win. Mm -hmm. 45 points for each team are available in judgment. That's right. 15 per course that you can get. That's five from each judge maximum. And uh, that's coming up after this game. Icker Slick is being cycled. Oh, you just get value there, too. Yep. How about you sacrifice a creature, okay. Kenji? <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Time oh to feed. No. I just I sense some Forsyth cackles incoming. Now, he does need to close this game out, BDM. I'm going to direct your attention to oh, the upper left hand. Oh, how is he at three minutes? I What's going know. on? I don't know. Did he start with less time? There's no way. This game is played out pretty cleanly, and somehow Kenji's used up seven, six minutes of time while 100 minutes have gone. What, what happened there? Weird, right? I mean, I wasn't really tracking Forsyth's clock, louder. but I don't remember him taking that long. Anyway, yeah, I here think comes he has, the I team. think he has enough time here to, to deal with all He's this. He's got plenty of time. I don't think it's going to be a factor here at all. Kenji can only smile. Can't imagine that he's happy inside, though. Vorn Klex out. Time to feed. No. He can play he who hungers here. I have the 3-2 with flying, but it's not really going to get the job done. Goes down to six. Plays it. Now we see, by the way, a Viridian Shaman in Forsyth's hand. That's what he was digging for in the game that Kenji won the first game. Right. That would have taken out the uh, Eater of Days. Oh, that would have been sweet. Yeah, I remember he had three mana oh, when he played that last sweet. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was going for. But he didn't find it in time. Wouldn't be surprised to just see a bunch of attacks here anyway. Yeah, in they go. <laughs> the Plague Mirror stays back. You might be wondering, well, why not just attack with everything then? Well, it's, it's got Infect, and, and he's not going to yeah. kill Kenji that's with not the, That's not the plan he's on here. Right. So he just might as well leave it back. He can cash it in with his Phyrexia's core or use it for mana. Yeah. He's just going to pass the turn back. Kenji only gets one more draw step here. Come on. Gliss's scorn to destroy. <laughs> oh, he's killing him with it. Oh, man. The Forsyth cackle was in full effect. Like, I almost heard it from the other room that we're in here. It's indestructible. You're not. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're not. And that does it.